Stresses and strains in bars of varying sections. So we will see what is a prismatic bar. So this is an important term frequently appearing in strength of materials problems. A prismatic bar is a straight structural member having constant cross-sectional area throughout its length. So here I have shown some diagrams. So here as you can see the cross-sectional area as you can see it's a uh, rectangular so if you start from this end and if you proceed till this end you will find the cross-sectional area to be rectangular throughout there is no change in the cross-sectional area in the midway similarly here if you start you will get a circular cross-section and if you end till here so each section will be your circular here you will be having a triangular section throughout so in summary you can say that any cross-sectional area which remains same so any bar having a cross-sectional area uniform and same throughout is called as your prismatic bar. Now let's see what is the deformation in case of prismatic bars. So from Hooke's law we know that sigma equals to epsilon into E. At epsilon you can write it as delta by L. Sigma you can write as P by A. So if you substitute sigma equals to P by A, epsilon equals to delta by L, so you will get delta equals to PL by AE, where P is nothing but your load applied, L is the length of the bar, A is the cross-sectional area of the bar, E is the modulus of elasticity. One important thing, here this term AE together is called as your axial rigidity. So many times it uh, it often they ask frequently what do you mean by this is ax axial rigidity or in objective questions they will ask axial rigidity of the following system is and options will be given to you so axial rigidity means you are supposed to calculate this a and e term together that is the product of cross-sectional area along with the modulus of elasticity okay so please note this Let's see an example out here. So here we have a prismatic bar and the load applied here is 20 newtons and the nature of the load you know it's tensile. Okay, so tensile load is applying. So here we are pulling this bar. The cross-sectional area of this uh, prismatic bar is 5 mm square. The length of this prismatic bar is 10 mm and the modulus of elasticity is 200 GPA. You know what is GPA? I have already discussed this GPA MPA concept. So so 200 GPA means 200 into 10 to the power of 3 uh, Newton per mm square or uh, Newton per meter square okay Newton per mm square so what is the deformation so if I ask you tell me what is the deformation uh, you will be asked you will be saying sir it will be elongation why because here we are pulling this bar so had it been uh, the opposite case say let's say we are compressing it or pushing it so in that case the compression would have been there but here we are uh, applying tensile load so elongation will be there we know the basic formula for the deformation in prismatic bar as delta equals to PL by AE. If you substitute the load applied as 20 Newton, the length is 10 mm, cross-sectional area we have here is 5 mm square and the modulus of elasticity here we have is 200 into 10 to the power of 3 Newton per mm square. So this unit conversion I have already discussed. Uh, so we know that one on MPA 1 MPA is equal to 1 Newton per mm square and 1 GPA is equal to 10 to the power of 3 Newton per mm square so these two units will be frequently used in the subject strength of materials so it is recommended and suggested please don't forget these two relations okay now if you substitute all these values you'll get the value of the deformation as 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 mm now if i ask you tell me what is the stress induced in that bar you will say that it is sigma is equal to p by a which is 20 by 5 which is 4 newton per mm square for uh, this will be 4 megapascal this will be 4 megapascal okay now if I ask you what is the nature of this stress induced whether it is tensile compressive or shear you will say that it is tensile why because the nature of the load is tensile so here we have the tensile stress which is induced in this bar now what is 
strain strain we know that it is deformation per unit length delta we al already calculated as 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and then length is 10 so of course this unit will be mm the length or is also mm so mm mm gets cancelled and this will be un unitless so there is no unit for a strain the value will be 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 4 okay so i hope you learned the concept of this deformation in case of prismatic bars see you in the next lecture till then bye